Hi, I'm Ben. Of Mix Up YouTube, doing the review of Batman v Superman: Dawn of Justice. Uh, you, you can't, you can really, yeah, you can see it there a, a bit. But on with the review. Yeah, as you can no notice, I'm wearing a lot of gray shirts lately. What's up with that? But it's okay. Well, this is a review I wanted to do for a really long time. In fact, I was preparing myself so I can do this review for a long time. Well, I've been starting up other reviews, like starting a YouTube channel, so I can review this, that, and I always want my own YouTube channel. Well, this is my review of Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Now, I like the opening, like, where it show, like, spoiler alert, major spoilers. Yeah, I see a lot of videos do no spoilers and then a spoiler review, well, now what the heck. Spoiler alert! So, in the opening, you see, you see the old Bruce Wayne's parents died, and then there's this scene where he fall into a bat cave, like in the movie, other, like in Batman v begins and you see him walking up like in Batman Begins where he's surrounded by bats but there's this scene where he's flying and that's kinda weird. There's a lot of weird scenes but I like in the opening after that where it shows he's in Metropolis and you see the 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 ship from Man of Steel going that was cool and I saw it in 3D and it was pretty epic where where we see all the, where we see all the things happen in Man of Steel, but then it's Bruce and you see Wind Enterprises going kaboom, kaboom, and and he's saving this girl so it can motivate him and he can have trust and he, that makes him have trust issues with Bat with Superman, and and after that scene, and well after that scene you see like six months later what. Oh, 18 months later, and I'm like 18 months later because well, it was two years since Man of Steel, so. But then, you see Superman. Like there's parts I didn't like where it's like, false god. Oh, he aliens are un-American. No aliens. I'm like, no. What the heck? It, Superman doesn't get treated like that. This isn't the Superman I want. Well, I didn't like that part, but. I did like the Superman costume and a lot of other things like well there was well um um well oh um um well oh there was a scene where Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor yet yeah, that I had a problem with even from hearing it and I still kind of had a pr problem with it. Casting Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. Then, he has a good performance. He plays a good villain and good cr crazy evil and good scary crazy. But I just don't see him as Lex Luthor. Because in the whole movie he had long hair. And there's this scene where he goes to jail and they shape his head up to be bald like in Lex Luthor. Well... Why didn't you hire an actor who looks like Lex Luthor who is bald and just have him be bald? Why? And because I don't see Lex Luthor in him. I just see curly haired Jesse Eisenberg. Like, come on, the like this is the first time we're getting a live action take of Batman vs Superman in the same movie. I mean, I mean. This is the first live-action movie to ever be put on in theaters to have Superman and Batman in the same movie. We waited years for this movie to come out. And now we finally got it, and I try not looking at the reviews like on Rotten Tomato. I may have noticed like it got a 30 or a 41 green splat, but I tried to stay away from that and my sister by a joke and said hey it could have been worse it could have been lower than the room well Timmy was showing me pictures on tumblr and I may have saw a second of Ron Tomato the room and Batman v Superman and I'm like no but I tried to pretend I didn't saw that so I kind of figure around it may have gotten the same reviews and the same percentage as the room so 
Yeah, um, Jesse Eisenberg, I did not see Lex Luthor at all. Like, I, I thought I was, like, come on, seeing Bruce Wayne, seeing a live-action Bruce Wayne and Lex Luthor shake hands is set up in an animated cartoon where we used to. This is, should be an awesome first time, but I'm like, no, I don't see that. But Ben Affleck, actually, I actually accepted Ben Affleck as the new Batman. When I saw Ben Affleck as Batman, I didn't saw Ben Affleck, I actually saw Batman. I'm like, he's Batman. And I like in the Bat costume that it was black and gray areas. Like, this was, like, there was, like, it's the Bat costume from the comics, and that was cool. Only we can have a Lex Luthor that's from the comics. You know what I mean? But, yeah, and, oh, Wonder Woman. They like I love seeing Wonder Woman in theaters. That was exciting, and they're playing that guitar. Da -na -na. And they sh and she shows them these clips from Aquaman, Flash, and Cyborg. And I'm like, oh my gosh, th there they are. Because it's an obvious build up to Justice League. And what else? What else? What else? Um. Oh, Doomsday. Yeah, people had problems with Doomsday, but he was pretty cool. Like, he didn't look much like the comics, but not a lot of other things these days. And, and there was, and seeing them beat up each other, and at the end, remember, spoiler alert, when they killed off Superman, but don't worry, at the end of the credit, before the credits, the coffin he was in and some of the dirt on it was starting to rise, like how he flies, and then... Well, and then it cuts to the credits, so obvious build up for the Justice League. Oh, and. Oh, and. Oh, and there were scenes like where he has dream sequences, like he was like the symbol of apocalypse. Like, that. And he, there's this desert and the flying creatures. For those of you who don't know who the flying creatures were, like in Superman's. like in Batman's post apocalyptic dream. dream? And because that's where Superman, that's where Superman, I mean, the, that's, that's of the aliens from Apocalypse. The flying creatures, that's from, Apo the creatures from Apocalypse where Darkseid lives. And at, at the end where Jesse Eisenberg, I'm just going to call him Jesse Eisenberg, where Jesse Eisenberg is shaking the bars like, the bells are ringing, he's coming, he's coming, as in, Dark side, yeah. So Dark Side's gonna be there in the Justice League movie. Obviously, it's he's a perfect villain for the movie, and I can't wait to see Green Lantern. So, and oh, and there were scenes at the end where I'm like, wait, are they gonna end it here? Are they gonna end it there? But nope, they ended where dirt rising from the coffin, like, and who knows what's gonna happen. Well, I'm Ben of Mixum YouTube. Sorry if I'm not great in this video. I apologize for that. Well, and take care.